This out-of-order elevator is inside Hillview Court Apartments in Milpitas. Converted in 2020 from a former hotel, it's now a supportive housing site, providing permanent housing to those experiencing homelessness. We absolutely need more supportive housing, but we need right supportive housing. And Lisa Reeve, a resident of the apartments and leader of a forming tenants association there, says the conditions they're living under aren't right, starting with the elevator. Well, it goes down at least once a week. And we have handicapped, disabled, whether they're chair bound or they can't because of other physical disabilities get up and down the stairs easily. Though the residents tell me food has been brought to those stranded, they still need to be able to come and go. We had one lady who was wheelchair bound who absolutely had to go to this doctor's appointment and tried to get down the stairs and fell. The issue of broken elevators and state inspections has been one ABC7's I-Team has been tracking around the Bay. A California Department of Industrial Relations spokesperson telling the team, quote, elevators are required to be properly serviced and maintained by the building owner and their certified elevator maintenance company, even when operating with expired permits. This has been going on for months. I, I can say at least eight months. Yeah that the elevator has, and they, they blame it on the residents, yeah. and it's not the residents that are sabotaging the elevator. The residents say the issues, though, go beyond the broken elevator. In addition to other building safety concerns and access to resources, they have concerns with on-site security. People are afraid to come out of their rooms. We reached out to Jamboree Housing Corporation, who received funds to develop and own the property. In a statement, they told us, we have been in regular communication with residents to address any issues and concerns as they are brought to our attention. The team ensures that equipment breakdowns are addressed immediately and safety and security concerns are handled according to our established policies and procedures. For now, residents say talks with county officials have been going well, but they need help now and won't stand down until they get it. This is our home. Far cry better than the I want to feel safe in my home. Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 news.